Ukrainian troops reportedly break through Russian defenses in Zaporizhzhia. Here's a summary of the article. A Ukrainian official tweeted a video of troops holding a flag in the settlement, located about halfway between Mariupol and Zaporizhzhia in the country's southeast. You can use the buttons below to amend your preferences to enable Twitter cookies or to allow those cookies just once. Unfortunately we have been unable to verify if you have consented to Twitter cookies. It added, this geolocated point is beyond the forward most pre-prepared Russian defensive fortifications in this area, indicating that Ukrainian forces managed to penetrate and drive through tactically challenging defensive positions. You can use the buttons below to amend your preferences to enable Spreaker cookies or to allow those cookies just once. Unfortunately we have been unable to verify if you have consented to Spreaker cookies. The Western officials said it was an opportune moment given recent operations to clear Russian defensive positions, Russian command changes and continued Ukrainian artillery strikes. This post received a score of 14,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. From ISW yesterday. Ukrainian forces launched a significant mechanized counteroffensive operation in western Zaporizhia Oblast on July 26 and appear to have broken through certain pre-prepared Russian defensive positions south of Orokiv. Russian sources, including the Russian Ministry of Defense and several prominent millbloggers, claimed that Ukrainian forces launched an intense frontal assault towards Robotyne and broke through Russian defensive positions northeast of the settlement. Geolocated footage indicates that Ukrainian forces likely advanced to within 2.5 kilometers directly east of Robotyne during the attack before Russian forces employed standard doctrinal elastic defense tactics and pushed Ukrainian troops back somewhat, although not all the way back to their starting positions. I think it's worth noting that the ISW also said this yesterday. It's important to stay reasonable here. Ukraine doesn't need additional pressure to pull off impossible advances. They'll get there, but at a pace no one can really predict, and that can't be forecast from one day's worth of news. People just don't like long wars and the two Gulf Wars have really messed with people's expectations of mechanized advances. It can't be overstated how logistically and militaristically impressive both those wars were. Baghdad was probably one of the most heavily defended cities in the world, second only to maybe Moscow, and it fell in like four weeks. People also forget that Ukraine is not the United States. It's easy to be the best army in the world when you can throw billions of dollars at any problem and call an airstrike on any machine gun nest you run into. Ukraine doesn't have the money or aircraft to do that. That fact that they're doing as well as they are without air superiority is a testament to the bravery and skill of their soldiers. The number of times I hear people talking about how Ukraine is wasting their time engaging in attritional warfare is ridiculous. The difference is that when the U.S. does it they spend six to eight weeks of complete and total air superiority throwing thousands of air sorties at whatever it is they want to go away. By the time the first U.S. soldier crosses the zero line the entire system of supply, communication, everything has been blown to dust while the entire time the Iraqi conscript has been huddled in a trench waiting for the other shoe to drop. They are attriting the enemy with artillery, which is the only way they can. Arguably a long war of attrition is the only way that Russia will be driven out and stay out. Things need to be so bad for Russia that it causes a reversal of public opinion, or as some may say the creation of a public opinion, that this war isn't worth fighting. This needs to be a level of embarrassment and loss equivalent to Afghanistan for them. In terms of equipment and men and blood that has already happened, but the public opinion and internal political consequences have yet to mature. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.